which has now aged dramatically. Uh, that was that was a hard stopper for I think both teams and both coaches and all the people in the building. Um, I give all the credit to Quinnipiac. I thought they came out in the second half and really took it to us. Um, they started it off with a step back two or three, and then from that point on, Ruddy really just dominated the game. I mean, on the boards, we couldn't cover him in the post. He did a, a great job. And, you know, I thought um, a few of my guys stepped up to really just come away with a win in a game that either team could have could have pulled out. Um, you know, sometimes that 17-point halftime lead is a little misleading because they were 0 for from 3 and um, didn't make many free throws. But I'll, uh, I'll take the win, and hopefully we can build on this. Although we don't have much practice time, we can at least go over the tape and film and watch it with the guys and get ready for a, a big game on Saturday. You break down the final play for us, start? Uh, probably not, no. <laughs> It's just, you know, my staff has been on me. Um, I give them all the credit, uh, my coaching staff, that we go over a lot of different situations at the end of practice every day, and that's our OB1000 play. And it really it's just a, kind of a screen-to-screen -screen reaction. Um, and luckily, Anthony was really wide open. Raphael Putney did a great job. In the special situations we used him in this evening, whether it was trapping OB under plays or the, the winning basket, he was the guy that did everything correct. And um, for a kid who doesn't play that much to be able to do that, because I'm, I'm sure they thought we were throwing a lot to him. What exactly did he do? Well, he, he we call it a decoy. He did his decoys the way he's supposed to. He, um, you know, screened first for the guy coming along the baseline and then went like he was going for the lob and then screened for Anthony Gurley. And, um, you know, by him being out there, everybody knows the one thing he is is a, a good athlete and a leaper. So um, I was even assuming we were throwing a lob to him at that point. <laughs> Anthony had the had the uh, the drive to put you guys back at after they first tied. He hit the three pointer deep in the shot clock. Can you kind of talk about what he what he meant to you guys in the in the last. It was half. big. I mean, he played like the senior that he's played all year uh, all season long. I thought we took some bad shots in that stretch, though. You know, I'm not sure if his three was a, was actually a good shot. Uh, Freddie took a couple bad ones. Samson and Javon had a couple in that situation. But for Anthony to make that three, he made the spin uh, drive in the middle of the lane. Um, which was huge, and then the game winner. Um, but he's a senior. That's what seniors are supposed to do. They're supposed to put a young team on their back and make plays when we need plays, and he's done everything that a senior is supposed to do and some. Did Javon do what a senior was supposed to do in the, early in the half? Well, he was great up until it's – I think he might have got a little tired tonight playing 32 minutes because he was – as good as he was in stretches, he, he was as bad at some different times this evening. But I'm probably on him – I'm probably harder on him than any player because I think he can take it. And what he did at a few of those junctures was kind of unacceptable. <laughs> you know, those spin throws to the basket. You know, you're not going to win a lot of games if he does that in stretches like he did tonight. You guys got beaten on the offensive boards, but yet they didn't score any second second uh, chance points. I mean, it was kind of a duplication of last year if you were at the game. I mean, they killed us on the offensive glass. And, you know, our guys are probably a little bigger and a little longer and more athletic than maybe some of the teams that are in the league. So a lot of times you get those offensive rebounds, and if there's a 6'10 guy, that's a little different than a 6'6 guy. But I'll tell you what, they go out, they go to the offensive glass as good as any team I've, we've played against, and that can be the last couple of years, you know, other than maybe Michigan State or teams to that level. They do a heck of a job, and it seems like Coach has them where they know who's shooting and when, so they're already positioning themselves to get to the offensive glass. I mean, Ruddy dominated the game in the second half. There's no two ways about it. He was the best player on the floor, and... He, he gave the other guys confidence with his physical play and, and being able to score in the post at will. It was one of those things where I felt like we were going to have to outscore him because we definitely were not stopping him in the second half. Okay. Hey, relief. Hey, you relief. The man. <laughs> relief that we got out of that. First true road game of the year. It was, pretty, it was a hostile environment towards the end. The crowd got real loud and we couldn't really hear what Coach Kellogg was calling. So we all had to um, come together and pull it through the end. Was that a, uh, was, it looked like you guys had gotten tired in the second half. Were you guys kind of gasping for air a little bit down the stretch? Not really. Um, they were, I'm, I'm going to say they, um, they really played hard. They, they were going out the rebound really hard, harder than any team we've played so far this year. And, um, so I guess we weren't used to the physical play that they, from, um, from the opponent's team. Is it better in a way to come back and win this game? I mean, we had the big lead at halftime, and then to know that you have to do it at crunch time on the road, is that oh, a more satisfying a, feeling? Definitely. It's always better to, um, even though we gave it that huge lead that we had, it's always better to come out with the win at the end. Yeah. Like, either way you put it, we still 7-0. Like, it's, um, 
and it's a learning experience for us that we can't go up. The same thing we did against Holy Cross, we went up. You know, we gave up the lead. We got to keep our foot on the gas. Say where's the whistle or something like that? Yeah, uh, I saw my teammates running out, so I, I, then I assumed that it was a goaltender from there. I was hoping the ref blew the whistle, because I would have been pretty upset if they called that, uh, if, they, if there was a no call. And yeah. could, could, could you just break that play down for us as slowly as, as you can? I mean, it happens, has to happen very fast, one second. But what exactly yeah. happened? What did you... Well, uh, I was on the top, like the, probably like the three-point line. And uh, we had Freddie coming off. He was the first option. And then uh, I think there was some other stuff going on. I don't know. Yeah. And then I got a, screen, I got a great screen from uh, Rafael Putney. He, yeah. he was actually Pick the main reason mind. why we uh, why the play was so effective and I, and I was wide open. I, I give him all the credit for that. Um, he set a great screen and, he, and, he, and he, uh, he did what he was supposed to do. In order for me to get the uh, layup. Were you surprised if you were as wide open as you were? Uh, actually, I was, to be honest. I thought, I, I thought they were going to um, switch, switch the screen, you know, which would have left one of their defenders on me and made us push the, uh, make a pass out on the perimeter and stuff. But uh, I was wide open. And I got it up to the glass and they called it two. Were you looking to be the guy with the ball in your hand at the end? Not just the last one, but you had the. You when they tied it, you had the driving basket. They tied it again, you had the three. Is it, I mean, is, do, you, do you feel like that's 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 the time as a senior, that, as an older guy, that you've got to make a make a play? Yeah, I was definitely looking for the ball at the end of the game. I felt I feel like I'm capable of making plays down the stretch. And, um, I wanted the ball. I wanted the ball in my hands. When the three went through, how did it feel? It felt great. I mean, I wasn't really that surprised. I worked on that stuff, so I wasn't. Really Thank you.